Since many people have asked, I've decided to make this week's episode my response to the Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why. I'm Rachel Keefe, and this is Monday's Muse. In full disclosure, I have only watched the Netflix series. I have not read the book. And I did find the series compelling and engaging and absolutely horrifying. And I say horrifying because the show did a few things that put a whole lot of people at risk. The number one thing that this show does wrong in ways that are actually life-threatening is that it glorifies suicide. Hannah Baker, the star of the show, is dead. When you die, particularly when you die by suicide, you don't get to star in a TV show. You don't get to watch all of your friends be emotionally punished for their part in in the pain that was your life. Suicide is never the solution to your problem. And this show makes it look like a really good one because you get a whole lot of power in the end. That's very unrealistic and really risky to portray. The other problem I have with this show is that it completely disregards social science research. In the first or second episode, it mentions, or one of the characters mention contagion and being aware of it. Now, if you don't know what contagion is, it is the fact that people who are exposed to suicide and various aspects of that have an increased risk of suicide or at least engaging in suicidal behavior. And this show, though it makes mention of being aware of contagion, breaks all the rules. I'm going to give you a few examples of that. The number one that that the whole show is based on, we know that reading a suicide note or sharing a suicide note publicly contributes to contagion. This entire show is 13 episodes of a suicide note. That's not right. We also know that public memorials, particularly in schools and places where youth gather, increase the risk. They contribute to contagion. And in the show, at first, Hannah's locker is a memorial. And then later, because it grows, it's a table somewhere more prominent in the school. And the the public memorial keeps suicide and the attention that the deceased receives at the forefront of the minds of other students. It's not healthy. We also know that exposure to the means and method of suicide significantly increases the risk. And this show graphically, more than once, depicts Hannah's suicide. This is not paying attention to contagion, It is not paying attention to mental health. This is putting people at risk. The other thing we know is that suicidal adolescents particularly, and others who are suicidal, often feel invisible, unheard, and disempowered. This was true in the show, but as I said earlier, Hannah receives a lot of power by sharing her 13 reasons why and blaming other folks. Nobody gets that power if they die by suicide. It doesn't happen. We don't get to watch what happens after we die. We also know that when you reach out to a trusted person, adult or peer, it mitigates some of suicidal feelings and can lead to getting more help. In Hannah's case, 
Her friends were all cruel and the adults were all completely clueless. This is unrealistic and statistically impossible that no one, no adult in that high school would be able to listen with compassion and guide Hannah toward the help she needs, not a teacher, not a guidance counselor, not a principal, no one, and that all of her peers are cruel. That's not possible. Some of her friends, if this were real, would have listened to her and heard her pain and likely tried to get her help. There is so much more about this show that is deeply disturbing. We know that religion is a protective factor. Involvement in a faith community contributes to a person being more likely to deal with thoughts of suicide without engaging in suicidal behavior. That's what a protective factor is. And in this show, there is no mention of religion at all. The high school, the whole town, there's not one person who can offer a word of hope to Hannah. Not one person who can say, I see you, I love you, I know that God loves you, I want to help, I will listen. Not one. That is statistically impossible. There is no town on the planet that no faith communities exist or no people of faith exist. These are just a few of my thoughts on why this show should not be uh, on the air. No one should be subjected to the horrors of this show. Something should not be entertainment. We should not be under any illusion that there's goodness in this show. It is fiction and it is deadly fiction, life-threatening fiction. If you are a parent and your child has watched this, unfortunately, you must also watch it because you must engage in conversation with your child. This is a deadly show and should be taken off the air. But if your child has already watched it, please engage with them in conversation. If you yourself are feeling suicidal, please reach out for help. You can always call the suicide hotline. It's 1-800-273-8255. I welcome conversation on this topic. If you are joining us on YouTube, please leave a comment below. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.